All right, what is going on YouTube? It is Quick Snoopy, and today we are doing another replay commentary of Antimage. But before we get started, I know it has been a while. Uh, Dota has changed so much, and this is 7.23e. So that's Echo. So there's been a lot of patches rolling out within like the past three weeks. If, if I'm correct, three weeks, there's been like five patches. And uh, there's been a lot of changes going on. And I just haven't really been playing Dota um, that much because, you know, it's the holidays and the holidays are busy. Everyone's always traveling. Um, so I'm back and here we are making another replay commentary. Um, I'm really excited. Um, this, is a, this is a really good game. I think you guys will like it. And I've spent a lot of time analyzing the patches. Uh, going over, Purge made like a six or seven hour long video uh, when 7.23 came out. And I watched that. And so I'm very, very um, detail oriented on this on this patch and how things work. Uh, of course, there's been five patches since then. But uh, for the most part, I we, we can talk about the patch later. I, I wasn't sure. I haven't done a patch review notes um of this patch yet it's been like three weeks i don't know if people still want to see it uh purge already made his and his is way better than mine will ever be so without further ado uh let's go into this this game of dota all right so starting off anti-mage uh let's talk about let's talk about the picks it's been a while since i've done replay commentary i almost Almost uh, fell out of it for a second here. So, Antimage, I'm playing position one carry here. Um, a few things for me to keep in mind in this game. There's an Ancient Apparition who, for the most part, shouldn't give me two. I, I, I didn't last pick. I, I third picked Antimage too, I think is what it was. Um, so I picked Antimage into a Ancient Operation, Sand King, and Monkey King, I think is what it was, uh, if I'm correct. So I look at these things and I'm like, okay, well, um, Sand King, Ancient Operation, they don't do too much to Antimage. Like, I literally have a uh, counter spell and I'll get Manta and maybe I'll get BKB. And so those like shouldn't be an issue. What will be an issue though, right, is uh, we all know Slark with Pounce. Um, I'm not I'm not blinking away from that. So, because the way that works now uh, has been changed. So you're leashing onto the unit and the unit is not able to blink away. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm worried about Slark a little bit. He could go Bloodthorn. People have been going weird Slark builds lately. So that's a possibility. Uh, we look over at Monkey King. Yeah, not not really. I mean, I assume Monkey King is going to get BKB. Um, his ult, I just would rather probably not fight inside his ultimate. I can blink out. Uh, Night Stalker is the one I kind of need to be afraid of going into this game. And that's because... <clears throat> the crippling fear he has an aoe silence uh and if i can't blink out of that manta isn't gonna help me bkb isn't gonna help me i'm just silenced um so that's an issue but his void i mean i can counter spell that as well uh so let's talk about my team i have a tree and protector support a lot of people have been playing position five tree and protector um it's all right it works out in this game and you'll see why uh tusk i haven't seen a lot of tusk lately um what i really kind of like here is underlord i think underlord's really good into this and lena as well uh but again once they get bkb on like monkey king and stuff that may be an issue but for the most part i like the lena and i think we have a pretty solid draft my support isn't too aggressive uh, and, we'll, and we'll see that going into it. Let's let's fast forward. Starting items: um, Tango, Healing Salve, Quelling Blade, two Iron Branches, and Slippers of Agility. I'm gonna bring that Wraith Band out as soon as possible. Uh, 60 base damage on Antimage. Uh, well, I got the three Agility right, but base damage on Antimage isn't bad. And you combine that with Quelling Blade, so that's an extra 18, so 78. Like, that that really isn't bad. Um, not at all. So. 
I got some coffee. I actually had this during um, during this game, but I was not able to, to drink it because uh, this this game was pretty action packed, and of course this new patch is very quick, very time oriented. There's a lot of um, a lot of fighting going on, so. Uh, what else do I want to point out here? Oh, yes. So, we all have individual accordions, right? As part of the 7.23 patch. So, I'm not too... This is important. So, uh, I mean, it doesn't really... It's kind of relevant now. But in previous patches, right? And this is... If Dota ever changes again, or I guess it's just an interesting thought to think about. Um, I would always see my, my carries and, like, even my supports would bring items out at like 30 seconds. You have a walking courier, right? And um, and people bring like wands and stuff out too. It was very bad. Uh, you have a walking courier and that like before this patch, before the patch, you'd have to share that with your entire team. And for a carry or especially a mid laner, uh, cause we know by like math and geometry that the quickest distance is like a straight, straight shot. So if you look at this map, this mid lane is actually shorter than the other lanes, uh, meaning that the courier can get there quicker. But typically, you want your bottle to get to your mid as soon as possible or regen. Um, and in this case, like um, my regen's a little low, but like I'm not comfortable with the one set of tangos and one healing salve. I have a trant, so maybe I can get by. All right. Um, I don't really block. I do see here that Inch Operation and Slark are bottom as expected. We do have um, Night Stalker mid. Okay. Um, and Monkey King is bottom as well. So, Look at how I'm playing this lane. Last hit deny. I don't. I don't want to keep pausing this. When you right click an enemy hero, and you're within like aggro range, you're gonna draw a creep aggro, which means your lane's gonna push out. Which I'm okay with this lane pushing out anyways. I mean, um, Sand King has Caustic Finale, and eventually I want to go in jungle. Uh, jungling because of this patch is a lot more effective because of the neutral items you get but um yeah j just a heads up like i'm kind of not too interested in right clicking sand king so much especially at level one like what am i going to do right i have a clang blade um but my tree is doing good tree protector things he's getting those denies for me and he's zoning out this uh, Sand King, right? They're both melee, and the amount of damage that Tree and Protector does at level 1 is 91 compared to Sand King's 50. That's like almost double, right? So, um, yeah, like this Sand King does not want to trade, right? So, ideally, you want this Monkey King to come up, but that ain't gonna happen. A little spoiler alert. And look at how comfortable I am just moving opposite. I'm like moving the opposite direction of where the Sand King is. I don't really want to be anywhere near him. As you can see here, I buy my Wraith Band. There's, there's a few things in this game that happen that really kind of like um, uh, cause a lot of like frustration. For me and, and you'll see there's not like i don't really want to be in that lane right now and right now i'd rather farm this small camp and then i'll even pull i told my support as well like i'm talking to him in game and i'm like hey can you start pulling from now on but i make sure i secure that last hit before and the courier's there with my wraith band on it 
but I want to meet the creep wave here. You know what? Let's pull up last hits and denies. Hello, I'm Gabe Miller. You've just achieved first blood. Thanks and have fun. This is like literally the freest farm I think I've ever had as Antimage. And like they will definitely see like the uh, the result of this. So they're trying to pull this. I maintain aggro. I don't really like being in Sandstorm, but there's not a lot I can do about it. I do have the healing from Terrain Protector. And I still have two Tangos and I'm working on my Ring of Health. So between all those, I should be fine. Here I stack this. Triple fire. Which may not be in my best interest uh, with a Sand King there. We have it warded, so I thought it would be okay. And maybe it still is. I don't know. I guess like hindsight's 2020, but. I'm still not interested in really trading hits with Sand King for the most part. Unless if he's just gonna walk up next to me. Because look, like he doesn't have any mana. Um, and we'll discuss this even later. His item. The items he chose were very. Um, I don't know, I felt like he, he was buying items to, um, to handle with my mana drain. I don't know, I don't play a lot of Sand King. But solo Sand King against an Anti-Mage, that is, that is not fun, huh? So, my support buying sentry wards, I like it. He eventually buys dust. Really a huge fan of this support. Like I said, I was very hesitant for position 5 train protector, but he does so much damage. Look at this right here. I decided to blink, but I'm gonna get aggro from all those creeps. Like, I'm taking a lot of damage. Um, it's okay though, like I have 5 armor, and we don't have detection. Eventually though, um, 285 health. Dyer's middle tower this Sand King is going to use Sal. So here you can see the Sand King buys, um, Soul Ring. I feel like that item was very directed towards um, trying to deal with an anti-mage, I don't know. Maybe not, like, there's not a lot I can do about it though, right? He literally uses, uses Soul Ring and then he has enough mana to escape, so. But I realize, like, there's nothing this guy can do. Look at this right here. The plays. Look at how aggressive I can play too. Like, what is he gonna do? Night Stalker's mid, right? Alright. Again, this train protector just runs at runs at um, Sand King. I don't want to miss last hits over it though. Last hits and the dies are like most important for me right now. Look at how I'm leading in last hits and denies. As opposed to their Slark. I have like more than double the last hits of their Slark. And it pays off so well. Now I was about to Dota Alchemy today. I told him I was making this video. So maybe I'll get some feedback on that. Pretty excited. Alright. So here I just go in jungle. The lane is kind of pushing out. I got um, Ring of Health and 10 HP regen. Like, that's actually insane. So I'm able to... The jungle... 
and uh, regenerate health. I wanted to stack this, but my train protector messes it up. That's what I was trying to do. So there's some things where I feel like time might have been wasted, but... Maybe wasted isn't the right word, but it could have been more communicated effectively, I guess. So, I see Monkey King is coming top. I'm very hesitant. I don't have Mana Void. I should have used, um... Yeah, I should have used Counterspell, like, way sooner. But, it's okay. Again, I have Ring of Health. Like, my health is naturally gonna regen. Like, I'll be fine. And I almost have, uh, Power Treads. Net worth. Uh, yeah, this is actually insane. Like, the amount of net worth I have. This is like Ramsey's status right here. I am so tired, too. I just got up not too long ago. I'm still drinking that coffee. Waiting for that to kick in. A little bit of coffee, a little bit of Dota and coffee on a Sunday morning before some football. Alright, this Monkey King's level 3. He doesn't have anything. I, you can see I checked his inventory. Mango Tree, I don't really need that. I'm gonna give it to Tree and Protector. Um, I'm trying to get level 6 too. Yeah, see that that's very important for me. I brought out a salve. I think that was pretty, pretty worth, pretty value. Nine point seven region. Really good stuff here, honestly. Honestly. So here, here is where like I mentioned the stack, and I want to play into this. Level 7 Sand King. He probably has Epicenter, right? He doesn't have Epicenter? What? What? I feel like if he had Epicenter... And Monkey King stuns me? And gets stacks? Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm dead. Like, they get a lot of XP from this. So, speaking of XP, right? All I can do out of this... All I can do out of this is get XP. Like, my blink's on cooldown for 7 seconds now. Like, I'm not fighting this. Or just kidding, I am. I do remember this being really, like... Monkey King? How much armor does he have? A 3? Okay. I Like, I have 8 right now. Like, I'm feeling pretty good. So, again, he has that soul ring to get away. Thanks for playing Dota 2. Uh -oh. Double kill. So one thing. Look at the time. It's 9.46, right? Alright, sorry guys. My nose is running and everything. So 9.46, right? Um, bounty runes and outposts are so important. Like, so important. Um, yeah. Yeah. It is very, very crucial that you get these. But Sand King isn't going to be able to get it, right? Like, this guy is not in any position. I like how my Treant uh, gives me the clarity, value, and then he heals again. Good stuff. My train gets the outpost bounty, and then we take control of the outpost. Got it. Like, look at these last hits. Doing so good. I can go back to jungling here. Oh, right here. Oh, the courier. Alright, one more time. Like that, I see the courier. I, I was... Farming the jungle. Then I see the courier and I said, you know what? Before it gets the item. 
All it had was a bracer on it, but passive gold is lost. And then my my trade protector does not have dust, unfortunately. So I'm trying to dive. 120 health. I get the kill. Look at this. Boom! The dodge. The dodge. Look at this again. What I thought was gonna happen. Oh, okay, he already used Soul Ring. Okay, makes sense. So I already used Mana Void, right? I'm under tower, I'm taking tower damage, right click damage from Ancient Apparition. Look at that. Ooh. That would have been it, too. Alright. So here... Ancient Operation is not level 6. But I want to use the Shrine. So I do. I know it was a bit, like, selfish. My team, I didn't really ask. I more or less said, hey, I need a shrine. And I used it. But I'm making very good use of, uh, very good use of it. Because, look, now there's a Sand King and a Slark top. Ancient Apparition is roaming back mid. They're wasting so much time. Meanwhile... The Anti-Mage is farming jungle. One thing I will say that maybe I could do better is it's not necessary for um, for me to watch Anti-Mage farm. I, I, I briefly did it. I looked mid. But I should be looking top. I should be seeing what items... What item Slark has and what he's building. Because the more knowledge, the more knowledge I have of my my Trium Protector and my um, my Lena, my the enemy Slark. The more knowledge I have on these things, the more I can like prepare. I guess I don't know. It's just something I need to work on personally, and I see a lot of other people doing the same thing. Um, just watching a hero farm, just do like um, attack commands, like uh, or attack Q. Sorry, so like shift attack or shift A, and then Q that up or whatever, or whatever you have your key binding set to, so that you're automatically just going from one spot to another, or you can just click on the mini map. It's not really necessary. It's not necessary to watch your hero farm um, all the time. If if maybe I'm worried about being ganked, you could argue that point, but uh, I don't know, right? We're getting better every day. Obviously, when you're like last hitting creeps, you want to... Try to stay as focused on that as possible. I used counter spell a little early there. I blink out. I have 200 health. I have mana void. I figured I would just come back. Mana void. Dominating, I guess. We get the kill. That's fine. I'm getting HP regen from living armor. What is that? Total heal. 100. Whoa. I missed this. I don't think I contributed to this. Let's see, I was 201. Yeah, there's no way I contributed. Double kill. Okay. Which is fine, because anti mage you really just want to get Oh okay, here's here's a mistake and I'll call it now. So I'm doing really good on farm. And Radiant's top tower is on the rocks. Yes, yes. I I can't remember the exact timing. Oh, we, we got a few minutes. 
but my courier dies with Battle Fury on it. Like, it was only a minute, but the timing I got for Battle Fury was so good, and it was a major setback for me not to get it. Ah, I'm kind of irritated about that, but. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't dive on that. Casual last hitting again. Just like your ships. Again, I'm just kind of watching my hero farm. Oh, this is good. Pay for thy lack. So keep in mind 20 seconds. I'm trying to play around bounty runes and outposts. Like the ability to teleport the outposts is just so good. Like look at this right here. I don't have mana void. A dominating I did use counter spell because I thought he might try to stun and escape or at least get a stun off. I don't know. Again, I wasn't aware of how much mana he had. Because I, I need Radiant to really focus on gathering information. Alright, so here's where my courier is about to die. Somewhere within like the next minute or two. So I thought I was going to die here. But I'm alright. I don't know why I'm playing... I mean, I do know why I'm playing on this side of the fight, right? My courier is coming from this side. So I don't walk right into the fight. But the creeps are on this side. Mana Void, I have it, but it's only level 1. And... I don't know. I, I, I wasn't too interested in fighting right now. But... I do. I get a kill. My courier dies. 15 minute battle fury, right? We all saw that? Cool. They're unstoppable? I could have dove on that, but I was a bit hesitant because Ancient Apparition's alive. And I figured he had, if I dove, he could throw an ultimate and kill me. And it's not really worth it. My farm is pretty good right now. So I queue up uh, Mantis Style. I said I have a minute and a half without without my uh, Battle of Fury. Get some tower damage in. Let's go back to farming. Get a Yasha. Oh, that's cool. I never realized it showed my like team name. Cool. Quick Snoopy Dot Coffin. All right, that was so I, my team, I have two of my teammates dead. I think my Lena said her teleport was on cooldown. Yep, I do. Okay, I remember, I remember this conversation. Tusk says he has a TP. Um, so, again, I really don't want to fight. So you kind of see me farming the nearby jungle. What I do want is for them to push this lane out. And then I wish I had Battle Fury, because I could just clear the wave so fast. Uh, but we know that doesn't happen. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. So, Monkey King is here. Structures are I'm about to die. So this Night Stalker is waiting for the kill. Ancient Apparition tries to throw Ice Blast. I throw out Mana Void. I'm doing everything I can to try and survive. I could have switched power treads. I'm pretty sure he gets away. Yeah. So I got Battle Fury now. I don't have full mana, so that's all right. My mana will regen. Quite quickly. Gotcha. 
This was dangerous. So, I didn't even think they showed on the minimap. I don't know if that's a bug, but... Yeah, that has to be a bug. I did not see him on the minimap. So I get here. Again, I can't blink out of, out of leash. This might have been what saved me. I wanna slow this down. How much damage does... Second King maxed out, 2.2 second stun, 280 damage. Magical though, right? So my magic resist right here is 60%, I don't know. That's stun for sure. So I can see counter spells on cooldown. Right when it, yeah. Right when it comes off cooldown, I use it. Then I blink out. You can see my team is here and ready to fight. Monster kill. Yeah, I used a nice shrine. They were ready to is the to dive on that too. So I have Philosopher's Stone. I should have given that to Treant right then. Uh, do I wait a little bit later to give it to him? I try to make a conscious effort to give it to him as soon as possible, but I think there was just so many other things, like this fight top, me wanting to farm this jungle. But look at my farming pattern. There we go, I gave it to him. The passive uh, gold is pretty nice. So I get the bounty runes, both of them top, then I blink out, because I know Monkey King's probably going to go for it. Vambrace re uh, Recipe, this is pretty good actually, like, Vambrace Recipe gives me, I need to buy an extra Wraith Band though. I'm very much interested in getting Agility. Uh, raindrop. It's a good item. Like, it's really. I've been saying this in so many replay commentaries. Whenever I used to play mid a lot, I used to always buy raindrop. Like, one of the first items. Like, I get more, more region on the career, and then I get raindrop. And it's so good. Like, the. The amount of the 0.75 mana regen is pretty nice. Then it consumes a charge to block 120 magic damage. That's pretty good. Right? So when you're up against like a Lina, or in this case, I'm worried about the Sand King. I'm worried about the Ancient Operation. Things like that. Very, very good quality items. Hello, this is Gabe Newell. Thanks for playing Dota 2. Double kill. Radiant's bottom tower faces a stiff win. My farm could be better had I have gotten Radiant's Battle Fury a little earlier, I guess, but I think fortification can save the middle um, Going mid here, I scare away the Night Stalker to stop him from pushing. I thought I could get the kill. I don't know, maybe, yeah, no. Like, I could have kept chasing, Night Stalker has 12 plus six. Yeah, so a total of 18 uh, armor, right? Kind of insane, actually. It's, it's pretty good. But I try to use blink off cooldown pretty frequently. I just don't want to get caught out in a position where I don't have... If I get caught in a position where I don't have blink, um, and like the Slark jumps or the Sand King stuns, something like that, right? Then I'm kind of in trouble. But I see the mid 
So here, I decide to push in the top lane. Killing spree. And then I go back, because I, I want to force Slark to go to that lane. A lot of farming. I show up mid. I don't think we really do too much in terms of fighting. Yeah. I do use Manta and I get back. I figured I would just let the illusions um, do some work. I'm not too interested in killing Slark top either. But with the Battle Fury, I want to push the lanes out. Because I can push the lanes out like faster than anyone else, right? And I have Blink. Is this the one where for some reason this canceled? Middle Tower can't handle this it did. Yeah, I don't know what happened. But I did not get the, um, the outpost. But I want to show up to this fight, right? I got Mana Void. I used Manta. Maybe a little too early, I don't know. They're unstoppable. So I'm doing decent tower damage too, right? I hadn't spawned yet. It's nothing. Plus the train protector with the meteor hammer. Hey, this tower is gone. This is at 25 minutes. We can go back and get bounty runs. I think we push top here. There's still three dead. Oh, I think I do get the kill here. Look at how dangerous this is, though, right? That was, as they say, wicked sale. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Radiance Middle Tower just keeled over. Tis mine. And here I'm farming this. I did not get that item. I told um. I told Underlord to get it. Underlord said he had to like sell some items. I ended up going back because I was like, fine, I'll get it. But I ultimately, ultimately, I wanted to buy Ultimate Orb. That was my goal. But look at this. Ancient Operation's dead here. Monster kill. I see other people though. I saw the Monkey King. Look at like how fast reflexes have to be to see that. Because I saw the Monkey King for like a quarter of a second. Look at that, boom, boom, I saw two, I'm out. But I do control illusions, because even a little bit of mana break is better than nothing. I go out, push top with illusions. This item is pretty good. Mindbreaker. The silence is actually like if it still provided mana break, oh that would be so overpowered. Cause Lena has stuns. Like I would just do so much Um so much mana break. Like while Lena stuns him. And one thing you're gonna notice is maybe we lack stuns. Cause my next item here is Lincoln's. I don't really want to be targeted by um uh the night stalker. For a wood. Ancient apparition. I guess you could like say that maybe I should have got skull basher or something here, but the stats on um, the stats on Lincoln's are, are really nice. <laughs> so I wanted to kill Slark top. Underlords here, but 
Slark, I don't know if he had vision or what. That was kind of weird. Monkey King's invisible here. Nice, I'm glad I didn't go on that. I do see right here, so I blink out. Dyer's middle tower and here they actually try to like kill me, which is really interesting. Are fortified. On my screen. Oh, okay, it does, it does show Slark. Cool. Gotcha. So I can't blink, can't blink, can't blink. The Lincolns, nice. Even right here, I feel very, um... I feel like that's very dangerous, but... Radiant's top tower is under attack. I decided I want to go mid. I thought this would have killed him. But I wasn't going to chase, I don't really have vision. But my Lena decides to go with Shadow Blade. Very nice. Look at this, Courier. I see a Courier. Dead. I could have, I guess you could have argued that here. You see, I blink, I see the Courier. I do see on the minimap this Ancient Operation. Level 13. I could have easily killed Ancient Operation. Um. Maybe you could have argued I should have done that instead of what I did do was. See, I saw Ancient Operation and I saw the Sand King. Probably not, because Slark is over there too, right? I decided, hey, let's go. I destroy their Sentry Ward. That's pretty value. Lincoln saves me there. Night Stalker's dead. But I also get the Diner in this top. So, I don't know. That Mind Breaker is really good. Just, like, pointing that out there, the ability to silence that Slark so he couldn't use um, Shadow Dance. He didn't have mana anyways. But... Yeah. <laughs> so again, I'm using Counterspell probably way too early. Not really too sure why I backed. I could very easily jump back in, but... I saw Ancient, Ancient Apparition use Ice Blast and I was not interested in fighting that. So... Right now... I have BKB queued up, and it's like, I honestly have no idea, really. Like, yeah, I probably should have gone Skull Basher, but I was very focused on, like, defensive items. Fuel for my fire. <clears throat> As you can see. Ooh. Abyssal Blade would give me the block chance, but... I don't know. Like I said, I'm really kind of worried about the Ancient Operation, so that's probably part of the reason. There we go. I blink, instantly use Mana Void. Probably a mistake. I use Manta. Hello, this is Gabe Newall. Thanks for playing Dota 2. And I want to kill the Monkey King, but I see he gets away. Oh, this is good. I silence the Slark. He gets away though, because he has one. Of course. There's a play later like in the game where he does not get away. If he tries to do the same thing, uh, it does not work out for him. I think it might be coming up actually. Yeah, it is. So, this entire time, Lena was telling me, hey, help bottom. Because I was chasing Slark, and then I pushed up the mid lane. I assume my Manta Illusions mid, but three of their people are alive. Sand King's gonna be up in seven, Night Stalker in ten. Um, 
So I, even I was very hesitant to like do damage to the tower. So you can see right after it goes down, I blink out. Mylena is being attacked. Slark is carrying dust. Very, very smart, honestly, because... Well, my tusk also has invis, and we all know tree and protector. This guy has Agnum Scepter already. Nice. And Midas. Okay. He gets a 60 gold per minute bonus. That's pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Honestly. Alright. Look at this right here. I wasn't able to save him. So my team. Look at that. 685 damage. Dude. What? So... My team was telling me not to fight Slark. I mean, I have the levels. I don't know why. But he has, like... How many stacks does he have? That's the question. 34? So he's still 102 agility. This guy's doing... 221 plus 45. Damage. Right? He's still more agility, too. Kind of insane. 241 plus 45 damage. Like, that is... So he still has the Desolator debuff. Which is nice. But if we slow this down... I feel like he's dealing way more damage to me than I'm dealing to him. Easily. Yeah, easily he is. So it looks like it's coming down pretty close. 685 damage. He was he was not prepared for that one. Consider thyself purified. So my Lena throws up the question mark. You know me, just staying focused. I got a BKB. We have a twenty thousand net worth lead. Uh, that is pretty good. Uh, so after this, I was kind of like, yeah, I do need Skull Basher. Because the Night Stalker is getting away, like, way too easy. And Monkey King as well. Slark. Pretty sure Slark gets BKB, right? No. Oh yeah, he's building it. No? What? It's the Monkey King that has BKB right now. Okay. So I go back to farming. Bounty runs are up soon. I wanted to get the bounty runs, but I think my team wants to push. Radiant are scanning for enemies. So you can tell I'm like very hesitant. We scan Roche. Or they scan Roche. Alright, check this out. Yeah, there's the Monkey King uses BKB. I'm fighting inside. I use BKB. Ice Blast comes out. I'm hit with Ice Blast. I'm running. Um. Night Stalker away. This ancient operation really doesn't stand a chance. But eventually I get out. I'm regening health pretty quick. Killing spree. I, I wanted to go farm, but I was like, what is my Lena doing? So I come back. Expecting them to chase my Lena. And as you can tell they do. And I said, okay, but what, what can I do against this Night Stalker, right? Here's where I learned just now, for a half, a quarter of a second, that he got Heaven's Hallbeard. So, of course, I ping my team, or I, I, maybe I don't ping my team. But I let him know, hey, like, he has Heaven's Hallbeard. Which, obviously, the evasion, right? <sighs> like 20 strength, 20 status resistance, 25 evasion. And on top of that, 3 second disarm. That's pretty... Pretty crazy. Good thing I got BKB though, right? So I can teleport to the top outpost, get the bounty runs, push this out. I almost have Manta off cooldown. At, everything at this point, I feel like, is very, um, like, second nature. Right, like what am I doing? I'm farming, pushing out lanes, TPing. 
My team wants to take Roche uh, sometime pretty soon. I remember them mentioning that. I think I was waiting on something before I do Roche. Was it Abyssal Blade? Might have been. So I got Skull Basher, right? So now we have another fight here. I don't even use BKB. We're gonna have to re rewind this fight. But I'm also very not too sure what's happening here. Okay. Bottom tower is under attack. So I'm showing up late to the fight. I know epicenter has been used. Bottom tower has I go on the Monkey King with the Skull Basher. I think I didn't want him to get his ultimate off. It happened again. But there they go. Maybe I should have been targeting Slark first. But we Double kill Slark. Kill. So I decide, you know what? I'm gonna jump. I have Lincoln's, I have Counterspell. Lucky King runs right into us. Night Stalker, the evasion, not a lot I can do. So the tower it is. So I play a little bit aggressive there. I had BKB, so I figured I could. So I decided to blink bottom. And then my underlord. It happened again. Thy souls in deficit. Decides to uh TPS out. He apologizes. I say, you know what, it's fine. I'll just go back to farming. Yeah, here's where I wanted the Abyssal Blade before, Roche. Because they were like, well, all the lanes are pushed out. But look at that. All the farm I just got at top. That's that's pretty intense. So TP and Abyssal Blade are on its way. I see them outside of Roche. Bounty runes are up. The first thing I do after getting Aegis, Bounty runes. Then I TP top. Or I was gonna blink top, but uh, Shadow Blade. The Night Stalker gets the top bounty. The um, outpost. I need to clarify those. So I saw Slark push out mid. My team wants to push top, but I was like, let me push out mid. Because I'm way ahead of net worth right now. I'll take that. I get the illusion room. Pretty nice. I send those mid, or actually the top, because I, I before I was attacking top melee. You can see they're healing still, and I'm not too um, too happy about them healing, obviously. So I want to keep it low, because eventually I wanted to get the top melee racks. That's kind of the goal. I have Aegis. I had to put boots. Um, in the backpack. Not a lot to do. Um... So again, I used Mana Void probably a little bit too early. BKB was used. Abyssal Blade was used. I'm trying to scout a Monkey King's ultimate. I really wanted to kill the Night Stalker. Lucky Bash. Once again, Mana Void. Pick out the cooldown talent. 
And then this Ancient Operation is dead. Pretty... Pretty easy. I decide to chase. Because I can blink back into the fight. Here we go. Mana Void again. It's like the third time I've used that in this fight. Hello, this is Thanks for playing Dota 2. I try to cut the tree, couldn't find Monkey King. Eventually TPs. Radiance Middle Tower. So I was trying to get Aghanim Scepter next item. Or Aghanim's Blessing, because I was going to consume it. You can see I want to kill the Monkey King. I use Abyssal Blade because he used BKB. I dodge the Ice Blast. Radiance Middle Tower can't handle this day. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Onage. Onage. Fine. Tis mine. Okay. Radiance Middle Tower. Radiance Middle Tower just keeled over. Radiance Ancient is under attack. Radiant so here we go for the end. Radiance Ancient is under attack. We're nearly done here. And the game ends. 17 kills, 0 deaths, 9 assists, 503 last hits, 46 minutes. You know, I actually didn't even completely go over the stats whenever I finished this game. 711 gold per minute, pretty nice. 35,000 hero damage, 7,220 building damage. Oh, death losses. I haven't played in a while. I didn't even know that they showed this. Pretty cool stuff. Like this Slark lost 2,000 gold. Death time? Is that how long he was dead? No way. He was dead for 11 minutes? Buddy. Buddy. Oh, so I was 5th pick Anti Mage, right? So, Sand King was after my pick. Slark was after my pick. And so was Night Stalker. So all I saw was the Monkey King Ancient Operation. Sounds about right. Ideally, you want to... You want to um, not pick anti mage so so soon. Thirty one thousand, yeah, like that. That farm is like significantly more. If you look like at. I don't know, what, 10 and 20 minutes, it's pretty close. After that, it just picks up. I'm not really too sure. Okay, I thought my net worth dropped a little bit, but it kind of just slowly goes up. Player level, two, same thing. Whew. What level did I finish at? 28, okay. That is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Flawless anti-mage gameplay. Compared to my average players performance this match versus players average play with this hero. I don't play like anti-mage. But look, I mean I did I did more pushing and fighting than farming. Pretty respectable. Um, I'm really satisfied. Like, the Slark played slightly below average. Still not great, but like, I had more than double. Almost 20,000 more net worth than the Slark. My last hits, way more. Gold per minute, obviously. But the fact he lost 2,000 gold and it was out of the map for 11 minutes. 
Not by a minute, sir. Uh, so yeah, if you guys are interested in me going over the patch notes, 7.23 and 7.23A, um, I'd probably just do 7.23E and maybe some major points at 7.23, the base patch that came out three weeks ago. Uh, then it's possible. It's possible. Let me know if you guys are interested. Let me know if you guys have any questions as usual. This is a really good game and I was really excited to make this actually. Um... Was not expecting this. I want to go and watch football now. And um, I'm really hungry. So I'm probably going to get some food. Probably relax. Go to the gym. Something. This is good though. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Leave a like. Subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Hopefully soon. Soon TM. See you guys later. Peace. Is it easy to show With the weight of the world my shoulders, I know I told you, it's the best slide I know, it's not a game that I am playing.